Hey there, today I want to talk to you about how we can really transform the way that our students understand math facts by making one very small, simple tweak to the way that we view the CRA model, the concrete representational abstract model. So just one second while I switch over to my iPad and we'll get started. All right, so if you're not already familiar with the CRA model, it is something that we see often in math instruction and it, um, it means concrete representational abstract, or sometimes you'll hear concrete pictorial abstract. It uh, refers to kind of a sequence, uh, a path to move our students along in their learning. So we often see it explained in books or research publications or articles, something like this, where we start with hands-on materials, we move into drawings or pictures, and then we move into digits and symbols. So the intention of the CRA model is to help students construct understanding in a way that they, um, sorry, in a way that connects the conceptual and procedural understanding. So the idea here is that when we introduce something new, we'll do that in a concrete way with some hands-on materials that they can move around, manipulate, um, and touch. And then we make connections into the next phase, which is drawing. So we will draw pictures of those concrete materials and then we move on to the final stage, which is abstract, where we are working with the digits and the symbols. However, this way of viewing the CRA model and this way of moving through it like a sequence of steps can lead to some pretty big problems for students. The first problem is this. Often as teachers, we see abstract as the ultimate goal in this linear path. Our instinct is often to get to the goal as quickly as we can. So very often we rush through these first two phases, concrete and representational. Sometimes we might even rush through concrete and representational in one lesson, and then it's on to abstract. Now I'll show you an example here. Suppose I am introducing multiplication. Maybe I start a lesson by giving kids some blocks or some other manipulative and asking them to build some equal groups. After 15 minutes, they have a really good handle on that. So I move along to making arrays from the blocks and we work on that for the rest of the class. Everything seems to really be clicking well. So tomorrow I am on to the digits and the symbols. And that's now where I'm going to focus because the kids really seem to have the hang of what multiplication means. However, this is where the problem can begin and where some really big gaps can be created. I believe that this focus on the abstract is one of the main reasons that we have kids in upper elementary who seem to learn and then quickly forget their multiplication facts and why we have kids in middle school who still don't truly understand what multiplication means. This brings me to another problem. We often believe that once our students are into upper elementary grades, they don't need as much practice anymore with the concrete um, representations, manipulatives, or the pictorial representations because they already received that practice in lower grades. This could not be more wrong. Kids need to see math. They need to be able to construct their own understanding. And that happens best when they can actually visualize what the math really means. When we ask a student to visualize six times five, we don't want him to visualize digits and symbols. We want him to visualize a picture something that is meaningful to him, something that helps him build that understanding of what six times five really means and what else we can connect it to. So I encourage you to think deeply about taking the focus off of the abstract phase. The goal should not be to move as quickly as possible to the abstract phase. The goal should be to make as many connections as possible between all three of the phases. So let's take a look at an alternative way of looking at the CRE model. This is really just a mindset shift. It's a simple mindset shift. What if instead of viewing it as a sequence of steps, we view it as a web? How does this change your thinking when it comes to teaching a concept using CRE principles? In this sense, we focus on all of the many connections we can make between the concrete, the representational, and the abstract even after kids have already learned a concept in concrete ways. Even after we've been working with multiplication for two years, we can still encourage kids to make connections between all three phases. So in this sense, 
we are not looking at concrete as a phase that we only use to introduce a new concept. We are looking at all three phases as something that we are always doing and always making connections between. The focus here, it's not getting too abstract anymore. The focus here is on the many different connections and relationships we can form. So how would this change your students understanding? It's just a very small tweak, but it can have really big benefits. For example, imagine that instead of asking your students to solve nine times seven, you instead ask them to represent nine times seven in as many ways as possible. And of course, after doing this for a little while and after we've built up this understanding, your students will be able to represent it <clears throat> in concrete ways, in um, pictorial ways, and in abstract ways. And they'll be able to make connections between all of that thinking. When we view the CRA model as a web rather than a linear path, the focus becomes connections. It's we're, we're uh, making connections between multiple representations. The focus is no longer just moving through those stages like a sequence. So we're really here taking the focus off of memorizing the multiplication facts and we're putting the focus on understanding the facts. We're able to reach every student no matter where he or she is at because we're giving the op them the opportunity to really see that math. Also, when we teach this way, we don't save the concrete materials for intervention for the kids who we think just need it. Instead, we use it with all students. We use concrete materials to help them build those essential connections. Now, how does focusing on connections instead help students in the long run? Well, let's just think about this. If we have two students who forget the answer to nine times seven, who do you think is better equipped to figure it out? Student A, who worked for two classes in the concrete and representational phases, and the rest of the time has been simply working in the abstract phase? Or student B, who has been working consistently with connecting all three phases. Um, this student is able to represent a multiplication fact in many different ways and has a lot of different ways to figure it out if he or she forgets it. Who's better equipped? Now, the benefits of connecting all three phases don't stop with basic facts. Imagine once we move on to multi-digit multiplication. Solving a fact like 12 times 7 is just really going to come very natural because they've been working with, um, with these ideas all year long. So here we see that we can easily solve 12 times 7. We can see that we have a 10 times 7 array here and a 2 times 7 array here. We know that we're going to have 70 pieces in this array and 14 here, which gives us a total of 84, right? Solving 12 times 7 and will become very natural to the student who just understands how it can be built using concrete objects. So I have focused on multiplication in this video, but I encourage you, no matter what grade you teach, to think about how you can help your students make connections between different representations of every math concept you focus on. Just imagine how this could transform their understanding, whether it is addition that you're teaching, fractions or algebra. Don't save those concrete and representational experiences for the introductory lessons and then never bring them out again. Use them all throughout. Help kids see all those connections um, between the different phases in whatever concept you're teaching. This is going to be a complete game changer for the way that they are able to build their understanding. I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you again soon.